so Topham Hats engines all like to work hard. Duck helps unload ships at the harbor. Edward pulls freight cars and helps other engines up Gordon's Hill. And Thomas runs his branch line. But sometimes the engines can't do their work for one reason or another, and Sir Topamat has to find another engine to work in their place. It was a quiet evening at Tidmouth Sheds. Hank the American engine was still new to the railway. Sir Topham had arrived with important news. Gordon has had an accident and been sent to the works for repairs. I need an engine to pull the express while he's away. James and Henry were excited. One of them usually got to pull the express when Gordon couldn't. He'll choose me, boasted James. I'm the best engine for the job. Rubbish! He'll choose me! I can climb hills! Why not let Hank do it? He's big and blue just like Gordon. Ah, chucks, Thomas. But James and Henry snorted. Hank can't do it. Why not? He has no experience with the express. Silence! Henry, you will pull the express tomorrow. Perhaps you can show Hank a thing or two about pulling it. Henry was pleased. Just you wait, Hank. Soon you'll know almost as much about pulling the express as I do. The next morning, Hank and Henry were at the big station. Hank watched as Henry backed slowly and gently up to the coaches. You must be very gentle with the coaches, or the passengers will complain. Hank sighed. You must also be sure to take care around the bends. Henry, I've pulled passenger trains before. Also, be alert for the guard's whistle. Never leave before the whistle. Be ready to go at all times, and always toot your whistle before leaving the station. That's a lot to remember. Just then, the guard's whistle blew. It was time for Henry to go. Goodbye, Hank. Suddenly, there was a very loud burst. Water began spilling beneath Henry's tender. What happened? You've broken one of your water tubes. We can't pull the train today. Percy arrived to take Henry away. And James took charge of the train. That evening, James boasted to the other engines at the sheds. I took every curve with care, and I was right on time to each station. That's nice. I'm sure Sir Topham Hatt will be very proud of you. Just then, Sir Topham Hatt arrived. Henry will not be able to pull the express tomorrow. I need another engine to go in his place. Hank was excited. Maybe he would get his chance to pull the express after all. James, I want you to pull the express. With pleasure, sir. And with that, Sir Topham Hatt left. Sir Topham Hatt chose me. He must know that I'm a really splendid engine. Hank said nothing. Instead, he went to sleep. The next morning, Hank was taking on water when James puffed proudly past. I'd really like to pull that express myself, just to show James and Henry. Cheer up, Hank. We're still new here. Pull your weight and let's do a good job today. If we do well with our work, Sir Topham Hatt might let us pull it. Hank was determined. He set off to collect his goods train. It was hard work, and the trucks were difficult, but they didn't stop Hank. They were finished. On his way back to the yard, Hank saw James in the express. James was in a siding, and Sir Topham Hatt was a passenger on the train. James's brake hose has failed. He can no longer pull the train. Will you please help us, Hank? 
Absolutely. Hank buffered up to the train. What did I tell you, Hank? exclaimed his driver. Hank just whistled proudly. Hank, are you sure you know what you're doing? Ah, don't you worry, James. I pulled lots of expresses back home. And with that, Hank set off. Hank was a natural at the express. He puffed quickly down the straight tracks and went carefully around bends. He made smooth stops and waited for the conductor's whistle. Hank even tooted to Bertie at a crossing. At last, the run was over. Well done, Hank. I'd like you to pull the express tomorrow, if you want. I'd be delighted to, sir. And Hank did, not just the next day, but the next day, and the next day after that. He's so good at it, the others are jealous. But that's another story.